What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So I'm on Instagram today, right? And I see a video of a young rapper by the name of Lil 50. And Lil 50 is rapping a song called Young and Ruthless. Y'all, when I see... This is a little boy. This little boy rapping don't look no more than 11 years old tops. Dressed like a party promoter. Or a dude that's 29, 28 years old with the clothing and apparel that he got on and how he rocking it. Right? Again, I said, the, he, you can tell it's a little bitty boy. A little bitty boy. But at the same time, he got a hardness in his face. Well, you can tell he's been exposed to some stuff he ain't supposed to be exposed to. He's seen some things he shouldn't be seeing at that young age, right? And when I'm listening to this little boy who only look 11 years old like a little bitty kid, when I'm watching him rapping, I'm listening to what he's rapping about. He's rapping about some street stuff that a grown man should be rapping about, right? And I'm like, man, this is crazy. He ended up with a big old tattoo on the side of his neck that say OTF. No connection to Lil Durk's OTF. Only the family, but he got an OTF tattoo on the side of his neck. He throwing up his middle fingers, cussing his butt off, talking about using a switch on a Glock. Like, come on, fam. And then I looked at some other, I went on YouTube. I'm like, hold on, let me, let me just go and investigate. Let me just do some research. I'm listening to some of this boy's music. He talking about smoking on ops, naming, naming dead ops. Like, bro, what are you, what, what is going on, fam? Like, where's this little boy's parents at? This is ridiculous, like, for real. Like, all I could think about it was, is his parents failed him tremendously, in a tremendous way. I know this little boy got a manager and everything at this little young age. He ain't putting this stuff together on his own. He got a manager, a grown person. If it's not his parents, somebody else connected to him that's grown, that's exploiting him and allowing him to rap, rap about heinous street stuff that a little kid shouldn't be rapping about just so they can get a bag out the little boy. Little boy rapping about a switch on a Glock. Fam, for real, man, this is what we, this is what's going on. This is what we doing, bro. Like, for real, this little, little bitty little boy talking like he the biggest kingpin on the block. I can't support no music like this coming from a little baby. I can't. I can't support no music like this coming from a baby. Like, look at the stuff he, he talking about stuff he don't even fully understand yet. His mind, he don't even have, like, he's not developed cognitively to understand what he's really talking about and the, like the consequences of the actions. He naming dead individuals in his songs that's probably way older than him, making himself a target, and the people around him is letting him do that and signing off on that, right? And I'm looking like, bro, there's no, no, no way nobody care about this little boy. If they letting this happen, there's no way nobody care about this little boy for real. A lot of y'all, a lot of parents be letting these little kids act way too grown. I don't care what their environment is. That is no excuse for them to be out here smoking and talking about shooting folks and wanting to tote guns and all this and all of that because they in harsh environments. Fam, I grew up in harsh environments all my life. Southside Chicago. I wasn't in, put up in the hills nowhere. I was in the thick of stuff where, the, where stuff was going on. That's what we lived at. And it was no way, no day on earth where my father or my mother was going to let me get become a... A uh, 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 statistic, or let me fall into that. They let me come. A, uh, let me come a a a product of my environment. It was never going to be an option. And they letting the little boy just become a product of maybe what his environment is. And again, I'm tired of people using their excuse. I grew up around this. I grew up around that. And have a mind of your own. Be a leader. Teach your kids to be a leader and rise above it. Don't let them fall into that and then make excuses for them. And let them just like let let that be the the the. The, the, the story of that, little, of that little boy's life. Like, don't let that be the outcome of that little... He's a little boy. He can be a totally different person in the next three to four years. Two years, maybe. A year and a half. If he sees the wrong thing or he experiences the wrong type of stuff, he ain't gonna even be talking about this no more. He talking like the boy talking about like he the hardest dude around, shooting this, shooting that gun, shooting this, middle fingers up. And I'm like, man, this, this is a product of people letting kids be too grown. I know people personally. Seen a video today, a, a picture today on Instagram, on Facebook, where a girl is throwing up the middle finger with her son. A woman, and she thinks it's all right. People loving the picture. Oh, look at man, man. He doing so good. Man, hell no. Like, no, man, man shouldn't be throwing up no middle fingers, talking crazy. Like he, like he grown. Are y'all for real? There's no way I could ever in my mind come to throw some middle fingers in a picture. I'm grown. I'm 29 years old. I won't do that with my people. Now, first of all, anybody over 25 throwing their middle fingers up in pictures need to be evaluated, fam. What you mad at? If you 30 years old, I don't know. You might need to be locked up throwing your middle finger up still. What are you mad about, fam? 
Why, why are you throwing your middle finger up? What statement are you trying to provide with that? What statement are you trying to send? Like, you know what I mean? But to let a, a little kid throw up their middle finger with you in a picture, come on, that's, that's clowned out. Uh, you got parents letting their kids curse, smoke weed in the house. Like, bro, I'm not, my kid ain't trying, I'm not trying to be my kid friend, fam. It's just not, it's not happening. It's not happening, bro. Like, it's just not. You know, and again, I know, like, he got family members that's probably his that, that's probably serving as his managers or somebody that's around the way, a family friend. They ain't nothing but enablers, right? They exploiting this child for money. And you can see it clear as day. Letting these little kids be way too grown, act like they just way like above their age, fam. I want to call child protect child protective services on his boy parents or his people. Like big old tattoo on his neck. Like, what is y'all doing with this little boy? Why do he feel like why he got this? And again. And maybe I could be a hypocrite for listening to the drill music that I listen to because the music coming out of Chicago, Illinois was making that type was that type of content. And Chief Keep was 16 years old, right? So, you know, and at that age, I was a little, I was like, what? Maybe when Keith dropped, I was like 19, 19, 20. And I couldn't see the, ignorant, the ignorance in it for little kids. I did, I know I knew it was ignorant for a little kid to be rapping like this. I just didn't really care about it. In a way that I do now as a grown man with two children, right? And I had a daughter then at 19, 20. But now it's just like you with with with, with um you know when you grow older with life experiences, you mature in a lot of different ways. I never was close, I was never no street kid, I was always a bookworm type dude, right? But now you still like, nah, bro, Keith shouldn't have been doing all that. That was never that should that should have never been his lifestyle, right? Whoever was raising Keith stopped raising Keith a long time ago, and his grandma couldn't do it. His mama was just like a friend. She was out in the block on the street ripping and running. He ain't had no father, nobody to be a real father figure to him, but the little older dudes on the block that were just probably sent off dudes, having the young boys do all the wild, heinous stuff while they sit back and smoke blunts, you know? But I'm looking at this like, and, and, I, and I gotta say, man, a lot of the Chicago rap influenced this and I, from my city, you know? And I, I listen to the rap still and all this and all of that, but young kids feel like they got to be like that to be accepted and be cool so little boy out here talking about being on the block right i'm reading the lyrics he's talking about some i was down bad on my ass in the trenches bro you 14 years old rush what struggle have you have you been experiencing on the block in some street stuff by yourself right he's talking about getting it and flipping it boy bro little boy sit down fam sit down bro where is your father or your uncles at this ignorant this is ignorant Super highly ignorant that they even, whoever, I wouldn't even, if I'm a videographer, if I'm a videographer, I'm sorry, if I'm a videographer, I'm not even recording nothing like this. I'm not recording this little boy. I'm not enabling this. This could never be on my channel with a little boy talking like, like, come on, fam. I could never, I don't care how much money attached to it. I can't, like, bro, it's a little bitty kid, man. Stuff like this, the, you, you see it. You see it firsthand, a generation going backwards. Going backwards, man. I know grown folks. They didn't get no neck tattoo today. I'm 29. People ain't get no neck tattoo today. It was 26, 27. This boy out here, some of them 22, 23. This boy out here, 14 with a neck tattoo, a strong neck tattoo. And if it's fake, let me know something. But it looked like it might be real. Like, come on, fam. Like, what? Come on, bro. Like, exploiting this little boy. Got him out here acting like an ignorant little hood dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like an ignorant block little boy, a uh, block uh, boy at 14 years old con condoning this. Like, bro, like, I, I, I can't, I can't stand behind stuff like that. That's just, that's clowned out behavior. Whoever his parents are, managers are, are clowns. You can tell them Max said it, they're clowns. For him, to, for him to even be doing something like this. They don't care about that boy. They don't love that little boy. He naming dead ops and songs, naming names. Making him a target for something to happen. It's people to do something for, to little kids. Yeah, if they talking grown and want to be grown, there's people out here that don't say that's a little kid, that's a little boy. It's people don't. It's people that don't think like that. That doesn't. That doesn't register to them that this is a little boy, this is a little kid. I should not do nothing to them. Maybe this this, this just a little kid just talking mess. They gonna say no. This little boy want to be grown. He want to talk crazy. He want to talk tough. He want to act like he bad. He want to name some dead ops and talking about he smoking on my dead homies. All right, we gonna show this little boy. And I pray to God, knock on wood. I pray to God that that little boy is covered and nothing happens to him and he changes ways and his parents re realize his parents or handlers realize how ignorant it is for him to be acting like this and for them to be condoning it i hope they realize that i hope nothing happens to that little boy because he's still a little baby and i hope he changes and he grows up and he realizes this ain't the way to be
But I hope nothing vile has to happen for him to change. I hope that they look at this and say, you know what? This is not okay. Because I can imagine that little boy grandmama saying, what the hell? His grandma, granddaddy, like, you got my grandson out here acting like a little block boy on a block. Come on, man. What, what's cool about that, bro? What's, that's not, that's never okay. Get up out of here with this, man. Like, this is a little itty boy, itty bitty boy. But again, his face is so hardened. I, I can already tell he probably didn't see and been around stuff he ain't supposed to see. He might be smoking weed. I know little kids that smoke weed like that, that were smoking weed like that at 14. He probably smoking weed and do, maybe doing some worse stuff than what we than what we can even imagine. You know, and I'm not just casting aspersions on a young boy. I don't know what he's doing or not, but the way his hard, his face looks, and he looks so young and innocent, but he look a little hard and around the face. Ain't no telling, man. Ain't no telling what he's doing or what he's going through. But whatever, no matter what he's doing, what he what, no, excuse me, no matter what he's going through, he should never be given the, the, the green light to be rapping about this type of stuff or displaying this image to the youth. Come on, man. Nah, bro. I got little cousins. I don't want, I'm, I, I act as a role model so they don't think that stuff like that is cool, but some people don't have role models or older people to, to look up to to curb their desire to want to act like Lil 50, this little rapper, this little 14-year-old boy. So nah, I can't co-sign that at all. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below of this topic. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I'm out. Peace.